Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, we're talking to you guys about the Copa America games. Let's start with USA 2, Bolivia now. Now, as an, as an American point of view, I am happy we won this game. Let me be clear here and say this right now, that I'm happy we won this game. But this could have been better. Let me say that right now. Because for the United States to beat Bolivia, like, let's be real, Bolivia is the worst nation in this Copa America. They're the worst nation. They're the worst nation. Now, people will maybe argue that Costa Rica, Paraguay might be worse than them. I think they're the worst team at the Copa America, at least from South America. And for me, you saw how bad Bolivia were in the day. And for the United States, we played well in this game. That first half, I thought first half we actually played very well. But the second half, man, very concerning, very concerning. Because that first half, USA were all over Bolivia. Bolivia hardly did anything. Like, the shots they had were, like, out wide. They didn't even get any close opportunities. And that Pulisic goal, I was going crazy. I was going crazy. I was going crazy. Pulisic goal. Great, great goal there. Fantastic goal there. And the Pulisic even tried to score again, I believe, that first half. He had that effort there. No, actually, it wasn't. I think Pulisic had an effort again in the first half. Or maybe the second half thing. I think it was probably second half I was thinking of. And then, obviously, Pulisic combines with Balogun and does a lovely combination to Balogun to make it 2-0. Obviously, he had some good chances there. Balogun had a block there. Reyna had a bad miss there. Uh, Weya had an effort there. And you use it was great the first half. The second half, though. A bit poor. A bit poor. Because we had so many chances. Ricardo Pepe came off the bench and missed quite so many chances. Ricardo Pepe, man... He missed a lot of chances. Ricardo Pepe should have just finished this game off. He should have scored to make a 3-0. I mean, like that, obviously, Pulisic had another effort there, I believe, the second half, but the goalkeeper catched it. And, yeah, just think for the United States, man. We had a good win, but we needed to be more clinical because I feel like this group can very well come down to goal difference. If the United States, because let's be real, I feel like United States and Uruguay are too good for this group, and I feel like we could have a scenario going into the final match day where goal difference may decide which, which team comes out on top. And so for United States, that's why I'm a bit concerned is that we could have finished off this game. Like, Pepe had so many chances. He should have finished off the game. And for United States, to only score two on Bolivia is quite, uh, it's it's a bit, eh, you know. But, you know, as I said, we, we, we are expected to win, and we got the win. And that's the important thing. But as I said before, the United States, this doesn't really change my opinion on the United States against, like, the top nations. Because Bolivia is a weak nation. Bolivia is, is a terrible nation. So let's not get too excited, too carried away, because Bolivia doesn't mean anything compared to and Bolivia. Beating Bolivia isn't comparable to beating like a Brazil or Colombia. It isn't. Now let's talk about Uruguay 3, Panama 1. Wow, Uruguay. Fantastic performance. I thought Uruguay the first half were very, very good. First half, very good. All over the place. Like, Panama were so bad the first half, and Uruguay made a, a lot of saves were made by the Panama keeper, Mosquera. Great, great the goal there from Arajo. And, yeah, Uruguay had so many chances. Nunes, man, Nunes had so many efforts that first half. I was like, how did Nunes not score those chances, man? It's crazy. Nunes is a, he's a very, very Jekyll and Hyde player. But the second half, man, I got to be honest with you guys. I wasn't convinced with Uruguay. Now, they did get the two goals that ultimately led them to win it led them to score those two goals but for a large periods of the game panama actually created a lot of good opportunities remember panama had a great effort great great way a great a great effort to equalize there's this free kick they almost scored right there rodriguez there for the 59th minute and yeah morello free kick as well panama were creating good a lot of good chances uruguay were kind of being a bit passive in the second half and you're like hey you know what we're winning this game so we'll be content Obviously, they were pushing for a second goal, but I feel like their motivation went down because they knew they were much better than Panama. They knew they were much better. You know, then Nunes finally scores a great, great combination there. A bit of a uh, deflection there, but Nunes gets a goal there. A great, great goal there. And then he sco and then obviously uh, Uruguay gets a corner. Vina scores on a set piece. Uh, the Panama do get one goal back. Morello scores a fantastic solo effort. And yeah, I think, I think if Uruguay is a said, man, uh, this team is looking great. They just need to be more clinical in the final third. I think that's a big takeaway from this, and I think that's a big takeaway from both USA and Pan 
Uruguay is that both teams have to be more clinical. And both teams showed their best in the first half, and the second half, eh, a bit underwhelming. But yeah, for Nunes, man, as I said, he has to be clinical because if Uruguay wants to win the Copa America, Nunes has to be that guy. He has to be clinical. And I, I'm, I, it amazes me that Suarez was even brought on to this game. I understand that Suarez is, you know, very old now and stuff like that. But dude, Suarez is balling out for Inter Miami the MLS. You've got to give him at least some minutes. And yeah, and I think for Panama, they put up a good performance. I think they did a lot better than um, most people expected them to. And I think for um, Uruguay, they just have to be a bit more clinical. I thought Vina was amazing. Got a goal and assist. Um, I thought Oguarte, Darascata, Araujo, Pelestri, Pelestri. And yeah, the Flamengo players really did well in the day. I thought Flamengo players. And I have a friend of mine that's a Flamengo fan. Uh, the Flamengo's guys cooked Nicolas de la Cruz getting the assist for the second goal, I believe. And yeah, I think for um, uh, for Uruguay, as I said, man, great, great win for them. Oh, sorry, it was a third goal. Third goal actually got the corner assist. But yeah, for the uh, for Uruguay, as I said, man, great win for them. And their next game is going to be against Bolivia. And the next game for United States is against Panama. So like I said, both teams won pretty comfortably. This is how the group is looking out. Obviously, Uruguay is top of the group on the fact they got more goals scored. And obviously, you would say second, Panama third, and Bolivia last. This is probably how the group is going to finish out in re reality. Hopefully, the United States can uh, defy the odds and top the group somehow. And yeah, man, so it's going to be interesting, guys. So if you guys did enjoy this little quick risk. Reaction for you guys. Let me know what you guys think. If there's any major talking points, please let me know. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.